Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best all-in-one desktops in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these all-in-one desktops, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Acer Aspire C24. All-in-one desktops are pretty convenient devices for a lot of reasons, the biggest reason being the clean setup which cannot be achieved with a conventional setup, and most of these desktops come with tons of performance and value for their price. And on top of that, they're also first-hand choice of many creative professionals. If you want a budget option for the all-in-one desktop, you should check out the Acer Aspire C24, a device that comes with plenty of performance specs, great display, amazing design and tons of other features that'll make it worth the purchase. Despite being a true budget machine, the Acer Aspire C24 doesn't look like one thanks to its amazing cosmetic touch-ups on the body. It's constructed from plastic but you won't notice that unless you touch it since it has a nice brushed metal finish on top. The screen itself has super slim bezels that look beautiful and everything looks perfect overall, complete with a stand and all. The body is pretty slim and thin, however the build quality is extremely solid and it definitely will stay put for a long time. On top of that, it weighs just 4.3 kilograms in total, so you can move it around the house or desk. The display of the Acer Aspire C24 is a 24-inch in-plane switching model with a full HD resolution, and it isn't touchscreen unfortunately, but for the price, this is as good as it gets. The viewing experience of the Acer Aspire C24 is solid enough and it delivers a good amount of brightness at 300 nits, a contrast ratio of 1100 to 1 and a 90% coverage of the sRGB colour space. These may not sound amazing, but they're pretty good and will deliver plenty. These specs will deliver you plenty of productivity and multitasking, however don't expect any kind of gaming from this rig. If you want a cheap and capable all-in-one desktop, check out the Acer Aspire C24. At number 4, it's the Lenovo Idea Center IO510. Next up, I have another affordable all in one desktop which comes with better performances than the aforementioned model and delivers better value for its price for a little more money the Lenovo Idea Center IO510. This desktop computer delivers amazing power, large multi touch screen, plenty of performance specs, and most bang for your buck. On top of that, it's also one of the most versatile beasts in the market. First off, I should say that the Lenovo Idea Center IO510 looks pretty attractive overall with its matte black plastic chassis all around. While it doesn't have a premium look to it, it is pretty sleek and suave, and I'm sure that a lot of buyers will be pleased with its serious looks, and it'll fit right into many spaces, including office desks. It has pretty slim bezels on the top and sides of the screen, measuring just 0.3 inches, and you'll find a thicker band on the bottom. The stand of the Lenovo Idea Center IO510 delivers plenty of stability, however, it also delivers some adjustability, including tilting to achieve better angles and ergonomics. The Lenovo Idea Center IO510 has a 23 inch multi touch screen display that's perfect for watching movies and such, and this beast has a resolution of 1920 by 1080p, and it has a good maximum brightness of about 250 nits in total. The color reproduction is also superior compared to the aforementioned Acer model since it managed to reproduce about 130% of the sRGB color gamut with a Delta E color accuracy rating of 0.54, meaning it can handle some creative work too. If you want an all-in-one desktop that'll get plenty of work done and will deliver a lot for its price, the Lenovo Idea Center IO510 is the right choice. At number 3, it's the HP Envy Curved IO. There's nothing better than an ultra-wide curved screen these days, and the HP Envy Curved IO brings on plenty of performance in the package. This beast has a powerful processing unit, plenty of connectivity options, great speakers, a safe pop-up webcam for your privacy, and again, one of the best displays you'll see on an all-in-one desktop package. HP has done it again. Let's take a closer look. First off, let's start this by saying that the HP Envy Curved IO is rather a large beast, like pretty large thanks to its 34-inch panel. However, it looks very attractive and it will catch your attention without a doubt. This design will fit into any room, be it an office, home office or just entertainment station. It's very versatile if you have the space, that is. The company has opted for a non-traditional stand with this one that looks like a sound bar, which houses the components of this beast, and it is a sound bar at that, designed by Bang & Olufsen. The base also has a QI wireless charging spot so you can recharge your phone or smartwatch that has wireless charging support. 
On the right side of the base you'll get a USB Type-C port and an SD card reader, and on the rear you'll find the Ethernet port, four more USB ports and two HDMI ports, so a pretty rich package overall. The HP NV Curved IO has a 34-inch display that isn't a touchscreen, but it is one of the best, as it delivered a resolution of 3440 by 1440 which results in plenty of sharpness and its 21 to 9 aspect ratio. The contrast ratio was 1000 to 1 and the colour reproduction of the sRGB colour gamut was 99% with a delta E accuracy of 1.44 and a brightness of 380 nits in total. Everything was perfect about the viewing experience, but it's not the most professional tool. However, you can also get some creative work done with it. On top of all this, it also has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 graphics unit with 4GB of dedicated VRAM to deliver an amazing graphics performance so you can even run the latest games. At number 2, it's the Microsoft Surface Studio 2. Coming to the big boys now, we first have the Microsoft Surface Studio 2, which is the perfect tool for designers thanks to its touchscreen panel and its amazing flexible hinge that will allow you to use it as a drawing board for your art sessions and creative work. While it is a little pricey, it delivers plenty of performance for its price and it's one of the best tools for designers and creative professionals that requires some kind of a drawing board. The Microsoft Surface Studio 2 hasn't changed a bit in the design perspective from its predecessor, but that's a good thing, since it was one of the most cleverly designed all-in-one desktops in the market. It still is the most refined I.O. desktop, measuring about 25.1 by 17.3 by 8.7 inches, and it weighs about 21 pounds in total. Overall, I can say that it looks perfect, sleek and very attractive, no weak points in the design perspective. The biggest feature of the design is the spring-assisted dual hinge design that allows you to set it up as a normal desktop and lay it down like a drawing tab. The Microsoft Surface Studio 2 has one of the best displays in the all-in-one market, for productivity at least, since it has 10-point multi-touch support and with the included Surface Pen, it delivers a great experience with 4096 pressure levels and tilt support as well. The 28-inch panel has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio which is perfect for designers, websites and magazines, and while it delivers great performance for watching movies and gaming, it's not the best due to its aspect ratio. In the performance department, the Microsoft Surface Studio 2 is equipped with an Intel Core i7-7820HQ CPU, 32GB of RAM and a whopping 1TB SSD storage, and it's worth mentioning that the processor is top of its class. On top of that, it has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 graphics unit with 8GB of VRAM, delivering everything you could wish for, be it for productivity, creative work, design and so much more. And at number 1, it's the Apple iMac Pro. Coming to the top of the list, we have the Apple iMac Pro, which is the most powerful Mac ever, with amazing design, great cooling, superb display and many more features that'll get you hooked on this one. The Apple iMac Pro is the perfect tool for many professionals and it delivers plenty of versatility for them, but it's a little expensive for normal users. The Apple iMac Pro has a design that resembles its predecessors with a bare aluminium chassis and space grey paint job that makes it look perfect, very minimalistic and just beautiful. The stand is excellent as well with its L shape that doesn't cover a lot of foot space, however there are thick bezels around the screen that take away from the experience a little, but the overall build quality of this beast is unmatched. In terms of connectivity, the Apple iMac Pro has a lot of options, including four Thunderbolt 3 ports, four USB 3.0 ports, a headphone jack, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, and an SDXC card slot to complete the package. The Apple iMac Pro has a 27-inch in-plane switching display with a 5K resolution of 5120 by 2880 pixels, 10-bit color support, and the full coverage of the DCI P3 color space. This panel has a great brightness of about 475 nits, and it covers 176% of the sRGB color gamut with a Delta E rating of 0.38, which is excellent. The viewing experience is one of the best in the market, and you really can't complain about it. In the performance department, this thing is a workstation-grade tool, thanks to its Intel Xeon W2150B with 20 processing threads, 32GB of RAM that can be configurable up to 128GB, and 1TB of SSD. These specs make the Apple iMac Pro the most powerful all-in-one desktop in the market by a wide margin. On top of that, it has a Radeon Vega Pro 56 graphics unit with 8GB of HBM2 memory, making it great for heavy tasks such as real-time 3D rendering and VR work. The creme de la creme delivering everything you could wish for. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. 
If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.